Good morning, everybody. I'm working on a BMW E60, and we're doing a parasitic draw test for a battery that keeps dying. So far, you can see that we got about 5.25 amps. Not milliamps, but amps. The car's been asleep about, well, it's been sitting for about 20 minutes or so. And I haven't really got to go down any lower than that. The key's out. It's in my hand. The trunk lid's closed, so there's no lights on in the back. Doors are closed. The hood is open. A bunch of sensors in, in front have been unplugged by the customer. But I'm still having this large amperage draw. It attempts to go to sleep, but then it wakes back up from what it seems like. So for an issue like this, you guys would be dealing with the fuse box, pulling fuses to determine um, what will be our source of this uh, draw. Pretty much what I've done is inline on the negative cable, I've hooked up the black lead to the ground, ch or chassis ground, and the red lead is hooked up to the battery terminal without losing our connection to ground at all when I separate the, connect, um, the battery terminal. And then have your little meter set on amps, obviously move the plugs over and then set it up like that. I'm going to open up this trunk really quick here. Let's see if we can go ahead and um, finish it down with these fuses. So with the trunk open, we're drawing about eight amps. That's my little nifty setup. It's not the greatest, but it works. I wish I had a little better clamps, but what we'll do is we'll go fuse by fuse to determine um, what is causing our amperage draw. So let me just grab some pliers really quick. Over there, we're working on next. We're gonna pick in a little pan. Okay. Hopefully, I'm still recording here. So, down to six volt, six amps still. Start one at a time. Any change and nothing. And nothing. And nothing. Spares. Nothing. And nothing. Nothing still. Nothing still there. Nothing. Still nothing. Nothing. Okay, there's a fuse that looks like it's been replaced before. Oh, no change. Still nothing. Okay, so a few more to go. Still nothing.
Still nothing. Okay, so we got a bigger fuse here. Nothing there, okay. Still nothing there. still not there then we need to go to the other box in the glove box and do the same test let's see here just because this can help identify if need be we have to change now down to four there was one six to seven six to seven as soon as i unplug that it went down to four three now three four five so it's still not completely asleep let's see how i'm gonna plug this back in five to six Go to six it's gonna show you that i'm gonna unplug this one more time That immediately drops to four. Plug it back in. Oh, well, let's see. So we're gonna see what happens next when we do another one. Let's see. circuit up there somewhere also to some of these ones get power from two or three sources so you don't even have to pull more than one fuse just to get the module isolated to determine which one it is So that's not doing it there. Uh, let's see, okay, so then we got those ones are already that one. That one. Yeah, nope. Looks like we're gonna have to work our way up to the front of the car and pull out those fuses up there. Here, let's see. I don't think these are spares, I don't think.
Yeah, so we're gonna go to the front and do the same thing. In the glove box. So pretty much that's how you'd be checking for your parasitic drugs. Except these ones are a little more complicated, take a little bit more time, but that's how you'd be doing it. So if you guys need help, um, feel free to leave a comment and ask. Sorry I couldn't find what we're looking for exactly in this video, but I need to move up to the front and have a helper watch the meter for me. So thank you guys.